Kirk Jensen here, who is unrepresented. Um, Mr. Jensen, would you come up and have a seat? Josh, you kind of inherited this. Uh, Mr. Jensen was originally charged with traffic violations. The matter was set for a jury trial for August 16th, I believe it was. Uh, we had some of the jurors and we were ready to proceed. Earlier that week, I believe August 14th, Mr. Marvin filed a felony complaint um, based on the same set of facts. So the matter was set for a pre-exam conference. Mr. Jensen has made every court hearing, uh, but he did express that he wants to represent himself. I offered to appoint counsel at each stage of the misdemeanor proceedings, and again, in this case, um, but uh, he declined. So Mr. Jensen, you still wish to represent yourself in this matter? I wish to have this case completely dismissed. Well, everybody feels that way. Everybody else who wants their case dismissed, raise your right hand. Yeah, that was unanimous. So I, that's not up to me. Uh, but the question is, I'm willing to appoint counsel for you, but um, you've represented to me at each stage you wish to uh, represent yourself. I do not wish to have any counsel. All right. Well, then let's talk about where we are. Where's the complaint? The complaint alleges that on or about April 6th in Lockport Township that you did obstruct justice by preferring a counterfeit U.S. passport and counterfeit international driver's license at the time of a lawful traffic stop, an attempt to avoid criminal liability for driving without a license. The way that is charged, it is a felony punishable by up to five years imprisonment and a fine of up to $10,000. The second count is possession of a reproduced, altered, counterfeit, or forged chauffeur's license, operator's or chauffeur's license. That's a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in jail and a fine of up to $2,000. Count three alleges that you had no valid operator's license, plain old no ops. They're also charged with a civil infraction of no proof of insurance. And I object to those. I object to that being uh, labeled as counterfeit on all of those documents. All right. Mr. O'Bear, do you have any instructions here or a plea offer? Or? So the offer would be if the defendant wanted to plead to count three operating with no license. It's the 90 day misdemeanor. Uh, we would recommend fines and costs. I object to that and I, I will not consent to that either. All right, let me unpack that a little bit. All right, you're charged with a felony and you're charged with possession of a false or forged counterfeit license. You're also charged with no proof of insurance. The prosecutor would dismiss all of those charges if you plead to no valid operator's license with a fine and cost. You may be the first person in my 21 year career that objects to having all the felony charges dismissed for a plea to a $200 fine. Nonetheless, um, you object. Um, I object to the fact that it's been labeled as counterfeit. All right, well, they're just willing to dismiss that charge. The allegation in count three is that you are operating a vehicle on a public roadway without having a valid license, sometimes called no ops or no valid operator's license. It's under 257301 of the Michigan Traffic Code. It's punishable by up to 90 days in jail and a fine of up to $100. It carries two points and it goes on your driving record. Um, if you plead guilty to that charge, I'm going to fine you $225. I'm going to give you time to pay it, and the matter will be done. 
if you don't wish to plead to that, we're going to have a preliminary examination next Wednesday where the prosecutor will attempt to bind you over to circuit court on felony charges and continue the matter for a felony conviction uh, with potential prison sentence. Uh, so his offer is to just be done with all of it for a plea to no valid operators. That's, I frankly, was kind of surprised by the generous offer, but that's what it is. Um, so our options are to plead to having no valid operator's license. You can even plead no contest. You can plead no contest. You don't admit what happened, but you also don't deny what happened. You allow or accept that a conviction will enter. You and I have a fundamental disagreement about what it means to operate a vehicle or what it means to travel. Uh, but if you want this matter to be over with, you can enter a no contest plea to no valid operator's license. If you want to reap the whirlwind, we can have a preliminary examination next Tuesday afternoon uh, regarding the matter. Um, what would you like to do, Mr. Jensen? I don't uh, accept any of that. All right. The matter will be set for prelim. And just, just to make, make it clear, this would be the third time that a charge of no operator's license has been levied against me, and I'm standing against it because those documents are valid, and I object to them being well, labeled we'll as counterfeit. Find out next week. So that will be Tuesday, September fifth, at one p.m. Prelim. All right, your bond is continued. You're free to go. And just to and just a reminder of the civil case that is ongoing and those who are named in that yourself and Mr. Marvin as well. Just which, to make civil, sure that. which civil case is that? Civil case, the notices and all the recusals and everything that's been filed into this case that I've been filing in. Just to make note of that, that it is you know, on the record. Well, let's take a look. Oh, you filed a August 28th, which is yesterday. I got this. I didn't see it. Uh, objection to the report and recommendation in the matter of civil case. Uh, you filed this in federal court? This was done in a federal court. It has a federal case number on it. And all the defendants are listed. All right. Uh, Along with the notice. Oh, it's great pleadings. It cites Abraham and the Book of Nations and a bunch of other jabberwocky, uh, but it has been filed in the federal court. Uh, all right, that's all a matter of record. It's in the file. And uh, you even got Hebrew uh, letters in here. Okay, uh, I'll see you next uh, Tuesday at... Uh, one o'clock. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm Mr. Jensen's uh, transportation. And, yes. Uh, on the set, my wife has chemo, and I have to take her to that. Is there a way that we can put it off to the following week? If that's all right, Mr. Jensen. That would dump the matter on Judge Pattison, which I'm sure he would greatly dislike. Okay. So. Uh, I'm sorry, but we'll leave it for that date. It would be the sixth that would work. I'm open to any date at this point. Um, we schedule things at certain times, and everything affects everything else. I uh, so no, it's next Tuesday. You could be done with this for two hundred twenty-five dollars, and uh, so we'll be next Tuesday. Sworn testimony in court. Uh, regarding this matter, you wish to not have counsel, and we'll continue that. Um, I'll make further record. At this point, I'm declining to recuse myself. Um, this is just a straightforward matter. All right.
next Tuesday, one o'clock. You can make your way here somehow. If you need a bus pass, I'll give you that. All right, you're free to go.